Can you hear? Can you see my screen? Hello. Yes. Okay, so I can copy the screen. Yeah, we can. We can see your screen. Okay, so this is talk about the thermodynamic formation of economics. So I give you the key features of, of the, this talk. So we, we give a new idea of truly endogenous effect and uh, effect structure diagram. And can, can anyone hear me okay? Yes. Okay, I apologize for inconvenient theory. I deeply apologize. So we try to tell economics that what stock variables should be considered as coordinate or what is uh, potential in, in thermodynamics. So we give uh, mechanical pairs and thermal pairs of variable for economics. And, uh, and this is good because we derive the equation of state with the thermodynamic concept plus the new idea of effect structure. And then this is good for statistical mechanics, uh, econometrics. And we give four laws. And then we try to fix the concept of the consumer surplus in this regime, uh, this idea. And in economics, we also give you the new idea of the generalized utility, total wealth, and generalized surplus. So this is the TOI as request. So both subjects have existence of equilibrium state, aggregated phenomena. And then with this new idea, we try to complete a new picture of thermodynamic calculation of economics. And this is on the demand side. So we, 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 we give a distinct between demand side and supply side quite clearly. We don't consider market as a system, right? We just consider a group of, of consumers as a system. So, you know, there are two types of physics. The first type of physics is uh, from the action principle. The second type is the optimization. It's a one form theory. It's the thermostatic or thermodynamics. So you may uh, have to tell clearly what is extensive, intensive, and temperatures. And this gives you the manifold space. And this first law, which is from the post leg, and that was all, all the law from the post leg. And with mechanical pair, you may have extensive, such as volume, magnetization, electrical polarization. Intensive is like pressure, magnetic field, electrical field intensity, and work term defined by intensive time by uh, differential of extensive, and the heat term like that. And you can see that if you from the uh, space of uh, two n plus one tuples, if you say that uh, if you have ds is zero, I mean this is gone, and you have s fixed, and then your manifold will be only x, y, and t. And if i is equal to one, you have only two dimensional manifold. And this is what we consider here. This is a thermodynamic manifold space. You can see that this is a law we learned from high school. And in this law, you come up with this equation state when you fix the quantity of the, uh, the molar, molar quantity. And actually, indeed, uh, this sort of system will delay that these three type of variables are called hydrostatic. And then with hydrostatic uh, uh, equation state, so the space of three dimensional will reduce to only two on, onto the two dimensional surface. And then the manifold is this, and we can count this tree as the coordinate space when this is fixed. But then this law doesn't tell you about the cause and effect of, among this. I will give the, the, the effect structure for that. So on the coordinate, you have a field, and then with the field like that, with the EOS, you have only two degree of freedom. And from this field of potential, you can do the John transform. Oh, in this sense, entropy is not a potential because entropy is the coordinate that you have to do the John transform to get the potential. When we say potential here, I talk about anything you can do the John transformation to obtain. So, and then we have to, in thermodynamics, create what is potential, coordinate space variable, and energy transfer. But in economics, stock quantity are not quite clear. It is a potential or coordinate space, but flow quantity is actually just like energy transfer. Energy transfer is heat and work term. So, so there's uh, no concept of uh, equation state in economics, or there is maybe, but I might not have been aware of that. I apologize. But then uh, Smith and Fowler in 2008, we did this comment. And there's some, we hope that it, that, that should exist EOS for economics because that some similarity, first equilibrium, constraint of conservation, and preference 
uh, not to decrease some quantity in approaching equilibrium state. And Smith and Foreign 2008 have an excellent work at giving this equation state where Q is a demand quantity, PR is price, and MR is, is the marginal rate of substitution on the US. And then to, to do this, they, they analog utility to entropy, and they need at least two commodities or two goods uh, in order to maximize the utility. So in economics, when uh, they try to model something, they have a term of endogenous and exogenous variables, but then maybe uh, they might not know that the, the well-defined background theory because of uh, it's very difficult in economics. I think the, the system is very complex, complicated. So in, a, in order to verify that, they just say, okay, if the model think X2 is the endogenous, the likely effect is X1, all the rest will be put exogenous. This is for, eco for economics modeling. And then there's this distinction between physics and economics and some similarity to physics tell how things change, economics how to make choices to allocate limited resource and this is a constraint uh, optimization and you can see no US in economics in physics you have UM US prediction power and this need to have a prediction power from empirical formula unification picture in economics not very really complete unification picture Short relaxation time, long relaxation time, highly attained equilibrium state because a lot of things happen in real world. And control condition, this is uh, usually disturbed or big shock. And you have clearly correlated or potential concept in thermodynamic or mechanics. But in uh, economic, it's not very clearly stated. And in physics, you have literature in fundamental units. You have length, time, mass, charge, temperature, and uh, substance uh, amount. And in, in economics, you have money unit, time unit, in the number of goods, number of agents, maybe consumer, seller, and company, a uh, four type unit. So uh, talking about the agent, why economics is so complicated compared to physics, we got in some, when you talk about system theory or system product, we talk about name, such as electron or a country or a community, so it's a name. And then properties in physics, electron have charge, mass, spin, in the economics, you may have uh, demand elasticity or whatever uh, come with the property. Property is a sort of uh, pertain uh, properties, pertain uh, some, some, some form of properties. So duty is how the law tells the property to change, to, to react, to change the state. So in, 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 in social science, you have social duty, like if you're a teacher, you need to teach and park in the teacher car slot, car park, but then you you might then you you might have this advantage over the other student, and then you have systematic list uh, uncertainty. It's for the same, but in social science you have different of memory, so then you have option of choice. That made social science very difficult. And then you have uh, in 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 physics actually, especially in uh, the modern in order to create the equation state, we have two way. The, the most known way, the most well known way is to use the conventional thermodynamic. You can put EOS from empirical uh, fact and you postulate this four law. But then uh, about 100 years ago, so you have a uh, cardiologic axiom. You can say that, okay, if you can put, uh, you can define entropic state or thermal state according, to, uh, this is axiom. And then X and Y are empirical uh, coordinates. So, and then you add on the conservation of internal energy and second law, and then, then you can have axiom to, to, to do the deductive reasoning. So we use Kaidodori approach. Uh, previous work is done by Fisher, they analog thermodynamics to, uh, between the gradient of utility function with respect to the quantity of goods, then quantity of goods are coordinated. The same. This is analog to the gradient of internal energies. It's quite a mismatch. And for us in this year, the mechanical potential energy lock to the same thing, the same thing. So it has been abandoned or less uh, catchy or trendy for many years until Samson give these critics. So I'll go with it fast because I run out of time. Uh, and then PWS literature was done by Listman in this year. And Listman unlocked the price and the demand quality to pressure and volume. 
Well, we are given this is not uh, generalized because you have to unlock this to extensive and intensive rather than to specific equation set like that. Sets law unlock utility to the minus of internal energy price to chemical work potential. But then we are given this to develop to, to S because this is, should be maximized. And chemical potential is supposed to be uh, in homogeneous system or open system, two system. So not a closed system. And here we consider a group of consumer, not the market. Market effect is actually the external effect that affect to the group of consumer. So Smith and Fowler in 2008 give this equation state. This is very nice work and very complicated work. Uh, but then we found that uh, to use MIS marginal rate of substitution as the temperature is uh, isn't it doesn't fit in the in the thermodynamic. Why? Because Usually temperature, especially for the ideal system, is a concentration of internal energy per uh, unit of particles or unit of mass. Then, so MIS doesn't relate to something like internal energies of the theory. So MIS is found by assuming that there are at least two commodities, uh, two goods or products in the system. You can't do have MIS for the one uh, commodity. So there's a disadvantage of having MIS as a temperature. First, it doesn't link to the first law of thermodynamics. Secondly, you need two commodities. So the picture that you need to as the Legos pieces is first extensive, intensive according first law and potentials and constraint is EOS. And then the other law can be derived you have to notice this diagram. This is look really simple, but actually there's some sense of it. First, look at this ideal gas law. Pressure cannot affect temperature. Pressure can affect temperature. Pressure can affect V, volume. Temperature can affect pressure directly. Initial change in pressure or temperature might be from outside, like piston. You can exert a force from outside, or you can have a heat reservoir from outside to have heat absorb and absorbing to the system. That is, and then you can notice that T cannot affect V directly because only done by where P. And V cannot can affect neither T or P. V cannot be the origin of the cause because this is a passive. It's like a, some someone who has been knocked all the time. So, so we can say that okay, only T and P can take exogenous effect, and V is a passive. So we can call this effect in A and B call truly endogenous function to be defined in the next slide. And from the, the gas law, we come up with truly endogenous function with tilde. T is the cost and V is an effect. What is in the parenthesis is the cost. It's the argument of the function and the value of the function is an effect. So with this, we can put it in the delicate graph. This is a cross one of the effect structure diagram. So you can see this T intensive quantity, extensive quantity. Wherever you have two arrows linking T and P and Y, intensive, we call plus one. This is each arrow represent truly endogenous function stated in the previous slide. And then the class two, think about the paramagnetic system. So in the class two, you have the link between T and X. And the link between T and X uh, are the cost each on each line. This is just like the if you have high magnetization, you can change the temperature. This is an external magnetic field. So this is a class two equation state. You know, you can see that this sort of mathematics cannot tell the effect like this. So we after observing like more than ten type of uh, system in nature, we have only two class, and we try to identify the rules for promoting an empirical uh, equation to take the status of the equation state. Firstly, you have to define what temperature is first, like what we are going to do for economics. So the first law is the uh, number of error tree that we observe. Second, at least one error pointing from intensive to extensive. And only T and intensive quantity will take exogenous effect only, not X can take it. So in the economics the demand side, we try to do the same thing. We propose minus value of price with the unit of money unit per unit of good. Why is price? Because this is intensive. Demand quantity is extensive quantity, is quantity unit of good. Average personal wealth. 
how uh, someone is rich or someone is very happy about it. So well, our will have different meaning from economics for this unit. So then we, we, we propose that there should be an EOS in this form. Demand quantity, price, and well, this is just like volume, just like pressure, and this is just like temperature. And price, because of, the, okay, you can skip this slide, because you can skip, you can see that temperature is actually, in the area of gas, is actually the concentration of internal energy. All the rest are constant, except N, uh, if the core system is constant as well. So we do the same thing. We say that, okay, for you, you have wealth, total wealth, and then you have concentration of total wealth per unit of uh, person or consumer as a average personal wealth. So it's a different notation, but it's the same, it's a wealth. So total wealth function is a wealth and happiness plus wealth and asset. So it's a happy as a human being. So you have happiness in your mind and also happiness in your wallet. So that, that is enough, right? So, but then you have need to have both. You have money in the wallet, but you don't have happiness. So that's, you, you're not supposed to be an agent in social so, so society. And then the happiness has been uh, neglected or ignored. I think this is very important to put it together because in yeah, economics, you talk about, uh, yeah. in, in economic, you talk about utility. So I think it had to be included in the wealth as well. So you have wealth function. You have generalized utility function and generalized utility function is the pressure of opportunity of ownership. That means you are ownership of something and plus the happiness of utilizing the commodity. But then this is not derived uh, with respect to QJ coordinate. It is a quantity of, of, of many, many goods because we are going to maximize this with the second law, not maximization of utility with the way we do it in economic, that means you have uh, IC curve and then you have a uh, budget constraint. So the chain, this is actually the chain in generalized utility per unit of overlap well. And then you, using color theory, theory, you can have the thermostat that identify temperature, which is a personal well. And for a diabetic process, you have this. If you have heat is zero, that means you have don't have that means you are spending without gaining any utility. You're spending without gaining utility. Sometimes it happens, but this is very idealized. So it doesn't happen in the real world. Uh, and then you have entropic state according to Carter X axiom. So you have isovolumic process. That means you're gaining up utility without spending. Suddenly you do something, but you don't spend money, but you are happy about it. So effect structure. Then for economic demand side, you have this structure. It's a cross tree. And the plastic doesn't allow only this, it allows another three pictures. 3.2, 0.3, 0.4. And 0.4. So if you talk about thermal contact, it's well contact. Well contact, if you have uh, two people with different uh, temperatures, different personal well, it, it can be done by getting married or get together in one household. So what is the retransfer? The transfer is the general transfer of generalized utility, transfer of asset ownership and happiness. So this is uh, the concept of, for, for money, utilities, ownership, and opportunity of investment, of spending. Isothermal process. Isothermal process, uh, for this, include the microeconomics uh, as a specific case of our theory. The price mechanism is isothermal process in our uh, idea. Isobaric process can be independent, uh, independent like if you want to change the demand function, you doesn't need a change in price in for isovalic because isovalic means the price is constant. So if the people get richer, they can eat more, they can spend more. So this is for the isovalic process. So this uh, idea like embed uh, economics as a specific case. So propose zero law exiting of this temperature with equilibrium uh, with thermal contact. First law is this. And second law is this, when you have this equality. Well, how to interpret the entropy? Entropy is general life utility, but you need personal wealth. So rich people can have less happiness in using product because they tend to look over the value of things. It's easy for them to buy product, again, whatever they want. But the poorer people, you have this less, you're happy more to eat the food, like maybe $5 food, 
they will be more happy. That, that, this not, doesn't happen for the rich people. So the third law, this is for Buddhism philosophy, as zero personal wealth, uh, that, that could be, if this have, have exist. General utility per unit personal wealth is zero. That means if someone have zero personal wealth and no asset, no even happiness, so there's no utility to be transferred to him. No happiness of using, no ownership. I mean, this is very uh, Buddhist state. So this is explain happiness and also the asset ownership as, as, at the same time. So modeling the, the, this, uh, the demand function, you can put the truly endogenous function for our system and try to use the directed graph and you can modeling with the demand function with this way, uh, with this variable expansion or you can do it with the simple solid analogy with the partial derivative, where you can put the elasticity of demand per price and elasticity of demand per wealth, per personal wealth, this is a new thing. And you put beta and kappa in a lock to the simple solid analogy. And then after some gymnastic, you will have uh, this equation that look like econometric, you can do it with econometric. Your time is up metric methods for, for this one with some errors. So this is for oh, yeah. yep. Okay, so give me just one minute. So customer surplus is, is now gonna be the chain because the customer surplus is in with as utility and utility shouldn't be under the, the mechanical pair curve because oh. utility is, is in with as heat. So you, the surplus should be independent. It's not here, it should be in this third that uh, axis of dimension. So health home, uh, sorry, entropy is indicated as the as the uh, generalized surplus. Uh, sorry, and generalized surplus is in uh, wealth, and uh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, it's so, quick, eh? so so entropy is a total generalized utility at the equilibrium. So this is a, and then the, all this. Uh, the Helmholtz energy is integrated as an expenditure. So we are waiting for interpretation of this, this, this thing. And uh, future work is to, to apply the John transformation to all the potential and interpret it. Apply this to statistical mechanics because there are many modeling statistical mechanics using mechanical pair, but mechanical pair that they use to, to define Hamiltonian is actually put by hand. It's not really based on something from equation state that they don't know. So, so you have you need to know equation state first before doing statistical modeling to or to write down Hamiltonian, and the triangular data concept of IC curve and multiple EOS so that you can have more than one commodities heat engine, and then that you can do a supply side. The work on this supply side have been in progress, and then I want to finish soon. A key uh, reference, and I thanks and I apologize for technical problem very deeply. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so in the in the equation. Uh, I can ask one question. Just to summarize, what is your simplified uh, verbal description of the uh, utility function? Okay, my work, right? From your work, yes. Oh, utility function. Utility function. Simple okay, description. Utility function is now the heat, heat term. It's not the work term or it, it's not a state function. It's a heat term, it's an energy transfer. So the utility is the happiness of uh, uh, utilizing or using and happiness of ownership. Suppose that now you buy a, a, a car, so you are happy to, to drive it and you have the ownership and in it, that's a utility. Well, why is that? Because it's forced by the first law. The first law is the law of the total wealth. And the total wealth is the combined between the happiness and the money and the asset. Because in real life, we, don't, we are not living with just the money. It is in the real world, we need happiness. So will a rental car or a rental apartment bring any utility? Uh, pardon? Will a rental car or apartment bring any utility? 
I think if you rent a car or apartment, I think you rent a, a, an opportunity to, to, to use the car. So opportunity actually is included in the utility as well. Because when you have, just like you have money, when you op, money is an asset. So you have money, that means you might be just happy. Okay, I'm happy to have $1 million. And then at the same time, you have opportunity. Like opportunity cost, but this is the opposite to opportunity cost in economics. So when you rent a car, you buy the opportunity advantage in order to invest or even to do something. So this is related to the concept of opportunity cost in economic as well. I think my intent, my question is, is it the service or consumption you're getting the right to service or consumption or is it ownership of the stock that is utility? I, I got the impression that you meant it's an ownership of the stock rather than consumption of the services that flow from the stock. Um, I, Which I one is it? it? Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. I think it, the basic, basically, you, if you think about that, you have to, to, to be in the supply side. When you, when you are ownership of stock in order to produce, so that is a supply side equation set. It's another side. So we separate. We, we don't think market is a system. The market is an interfacing barrier. So, so, so when you own a stock and then you, you are a producer, or you own a company, something like that, rather than consumer. Sorry about my English, this is bad. <laughs> well, we can understand it. Thank you, thanks. Uh, Professor thanks. Berin, I have a question. Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, from, from your conference and different conference, I have been left with a doubt uh, if this analogies uh, the relationship between the social and economic issues with the uh, things that you use at the natural science and mechanical, do you think it is only in a methodology analogy or do you think there is something more deep like a human behavior could respond to natural laws and not only to social rationing like uh, economics people think? So. So I have done a degree also in economics and also in physics. So I try to do both at the same time. But uh, I think the, 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 all the, the stuff that have been complicated because we have choice and we have difference. So when you do statistical mechanics of it, so you need to, to have put a structural game theory into it. Otherwise, it doesn't really give you the, the, this sort of structure. And also, you can see the network. You can see the agents in society as a network. So it's not like free particle like boson or fermion. So in order to, to model economy, I would think that first you need a framework of the more dynamics because this is aggregated phenomena. So after that, you have, after the more dynamics, you have mechanical pair, equation state, and potential, and potential function, thermodynamic potential function. And then you can think about the agent and this, each agent, you have uh, this sort of dielectric graph linked between each other, and then you do statistical mechanics on it. And that's this, the, might be my, my view of approaching uh, the society. But then, you know, it's very complicated. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for the question. It's a nice question. And thank you, the organizer, Ram, and everyone. I'm sorry for, 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 for incoming. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir, I, I, have, can hear you. Yep, I, I have extended uh, abstract. I, I put it a little for almost complete. You can uh, read. I am very happy to propose this work because uh, there are not many journals to, to think about uh, th this sort of thing. Yeah. So, so I really appreciate uh, your questions, everything. Yeah. And it's uh, already late night in Thailand, so I might have to go to bed. <laughs> Thank you. More questions? Uh, uh, Bern, I would, I would give uh, one suggestion to you is that uh, Helmholtz free energy is for uh, constant volume processes. It's not, 
It's for things like bomb research, and it's not really applicable to social systems. Uh, bomb research. Sorry, I, I, I don't uh, hear you. Hamilt's, the Hamilt's potential is for uh, constant oh. volume processes. So economic systems change their volume. So mm -hmm. it, it's not the correct thermodynamic potential to apply. Uh, we, we, we have to consider some, we have to go back to some other slide and then. Right. Can you see my slide now? Uh, yeah. Okay. So th th this is, okay. So if you think about this same whole free energies, if you think that uh, volume constant, that means you don't have this term. So this is gone. I think we we need some more interpretation of this. I, I, I'm I not really clear about the meaning of this as well. But then if you fix the, the, the well, maybe one have a constant well. So you might think that at equilibrium, thermal uh, Helmholtz energy can, can be just expenditure at that time, at just one particular time at equilibrium only. But when it change in this inequality, I will now how to interpret this. Yes, you are right. Yes. Okay. Uh, I just. Uh... I would just suggest to focus more on the Gibbs free energy versus the Helmholtz free energy applied economically. Mm. Yeah, Helmholtz. Just a general suggestion for your research. Yep, yep, we agree with that too. Gibbs. We have you live because I like your talk very much <laughs> yesterday. Yes, thank you uh, for your suggestion. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Yeah.